Hello. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Pat Speth, author of the Nickel Quilt Books. I love scrappy quilts and I love to use 5 inch squares in many of the quilts that I make. Today's video is going to be on this block right here, the Town Square block. It is block number one in my block of the month, Color Me Happy. I'll be posting a block every four to five weeks until I have videos for all 13 blocks posted for you. This is a great block of the month quilt for beginner quilters or for more experienced quilters. Really, any quilter who wants to have fun just sewing some of their fabrics up and making a great quilt. For those of you that would like to make this quilt in a larger size, I now have included in the pattern packet materials, information, and quilt diagrams for two additional quilt sizes, and that is the twin size and the queen size. So that information is there as well as the original information for making the lap size. The three sizes for this quilt are lap, twin, and queen. Ordering information will be at the end of this video for the Color Me Happy Pattern Packet. You're going to love how easy this quilt is to assemble. I have assembled it so that we're putting this together in rows. The border section is sewn to a block, is sewn to a sashing piece, is sewn to another block until the entire row is completed. So the only time you go completely all the way around this quilt is when you're adding on the binding. Another thing I love about this quilt is that I've designed it that you do not need to repeat fabrics throughout the quilt. I'm not going to tell you um, that fabrics that you used in blocks like 1 or 2 are then later used in blocks 8 or 12. So you don't have to worry about running out of fabrics. You can just grab whatever is in your stash and use it. Yes, this is block number 1, the town square block. Unfinished, it measures 12 and a half inches and it will finish 12 inches. For this block, the components, the units in the block, we have four patches. We have a total of four, four patches. We have a total of four, two patches, and we have a center square. The materials needed for this block, background fabrics, five inch squares, a total of four background fabrics, a pair of printed squares, dark or medium, whatever you would like to work with, this a pair, two identical squares, and I refer to those as a pair, and then three more five inch squares from different fabrics. I'm going to start by showing you how to make the two patches. For the two patches, this is where you're going to grab your pair of five inch squares, and then two background five inch squares putting them right sides together. Nestling those, lining up the edges, do that with both of them. Once you have those right sides together, then we can go ahead and you will stitch scant quarter of an inch on one edge, scant quarter of an inch on the opposite edge. After you have stitched your scant quarter of an inch on each edge, then you would measure over two and a half inches and cut that in half. I'm not actually going to cut this one in half. I want to be able to save this unit for another demo. I just happen to have some units I have already cut in half. When they have been cut in half, set those seams and press to the dark. Once we have set the seam, press to the dark, then you can measure over four and a half inches and trim a half an inch away. And I do measure the full four and a half inches and trim that half an inch away rather than measuring a half an inch and cutting because this gives me one last chance to make sure that this unit was the correct size is the correct size. This unit should measure four and a half inches this way, and now it'll measure four and a half inches this way after you trim that half inch away. 
You will make four of these for your block. Now we're going to make the four patch units. And what you do for the four patch units is grab two of the other five inch squares that you selected for this block and the remaining two background squares. We start by the same method that we did for the two patches, placing these right sides together. Once those are placed right sides together, yes, you will repeat that process of stitching scan quarter of an inch on each side, measuring over two and a half inches from the edge, cutting, set that seam, and press to the darker fabric. Do not do any trimming when we're making four patches. Just go ahead and press that to the dark. Once you have the sewing, the pressing, the cutting done, you will end up with a total of four units. And I'm putting some greens and some pink fabrics together. When creating your four patches, grab two different larger two patches, put them right sides together, nestle that center seam, placing the dark against the light, the dark against the light. We are going to go ahead and sew again. Scan quarter of an inch on this edge, scan quarter of an inch on this edge, crossing over that original stitching line. Once we have our stitching done, our seam, scan quarter of an inch seam on each side, we can go ahead and measure over two and a half inches and cut. We end up then with four patches and you will end up with four identical four patches. I now have my four two patches. I have my four four patches. What is left then is the center square. All we need is a four and a half inch square. I usually just grab, yes, a five inch square and uh, trim it up to four and a half inches. We're ready to sew this together. I'm going to sew um, this row together and then this row together and this row together. I have the units in the three rows sewn together. I set the seams and I pressed uh, the top and bottom rows. I pressed out and the center row I pressed in towards that center square. Now it is time to join to sew the rows together to complete this block. The town square block is done. I sewed the last two seams set those seams and pressed, and you can press uh, those final seams really in any direction you would like because the this quilt is set together with sashing pieces. So we don't have to worry about which direction these outside seams are going. That is how to make this block, the town square block, from using five inch squares of fabrics. But what if you have a lot of two and a half inch strips in your stash that you would like to use up? This block is perfect for those also. In this block, the only thing we actually need to start with a square is the, the center square here, a four and a half inch square. The other components, the four patches and the two patches, we can make from two and a half inch strips. Select through two and a half inch strips from the three different fabrics of using darks or mediums there, and then two and a half inch strips in, of your background fabrics, your light fabrics, and it is fun to start mixing the background fabrics up. In, in fact, in my batik version of this sampler quilt, this block of the month, I did use uh, a variety of background fabrics, usually two or more background fabrics within each block. So, and another great thing about using a variety of background fabrics is you don't have to worry about running out of any particular fabric. You just add some more later. Taking your two and a half inch strips, 
sewing those together using a scant quarter of an inch seam for your two patches you simply measure over the four and a half inches and cut off four and a half inch chunks off of your strip set. You will need four of these for each of your blocks. And then from the strip sets you're creating using your other two and a half inch strips, you will cut two and a half inch sections off of those and we will join these together to form our four patches. So these measure four and a half inches this direction, two and a half inches this direction, select and two, yes, two different ones and you would put those together to form your four patches. Okay. And there again, when you have your four, four patches sewn and your four, two patches sewn in a center four and a half inch square, you would be ready to assemble your block. Another wonderful block and it was so fast and easy to make using either five inch squares of fabrics or two and a half inch strips. Ordering information is coming up next for the pattern packet for the Color Me Happy block of the month. And so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos, please click that subscribe button. Thank you for joining me today. And until I post my next video, have fun making your quilts. The pattern packet for making the Color Me Happy Block of the Month can be ordered from my website, along with my nickel quilt books and patterns. I've included a link to my website below in the video description area. Purchases from my website will help fund the creation and production of more nickel quilt videos for all to enjoy and learn from. Thank you.